Today I am using Van Der Hagen uh, shave soap. It came in a kit that I got. Uh, right now I am coating the brush. Then I'm going to uh, begin working on the lather itself, which I'm going to do in a bowl. Um, but today, just doing another um, shaving video. Uh, I've had a bunch of questions regarding that video and so I thought I'd address a few of them here. Um, yes, that was my absolute first time um, shaving with a uh, safety razor. Uh, it was my first time shaving with a safety razor. I never picked one up before I turned on the video camera. Um, I had watched several YouTube videos on the subject, um, so I was fairly familiar with uh, the process, and that helped out a whole lot. Uh, so for those of you who commented, I know hockey players said he got a set but for those of you who are thinking about it um, watch YouTube videos um, not necessarily this one um, because I don't have techniques down I just I'm getting by doing pretty well I've shaved about four times this will be my fifth no this will be my fourth sorry and uh, Yeah, it's been pretty pretty simple. I have had a few nicks, but nothing nothing serious. And most of it has been uh, related to my razor bumps from my previous razors. So. I sheared them off a few times. But yeah, still working on my lather. I do have a couple of shaving creams coming. Um, so my lather is not perfect, but as you can see, it does work. Um, Again, today I am using my Edwin Jagger DE89. With an Astro Superior Platinum Blade. I am going to do one other thing to this lather. I'm a big fan of Barber. Uh, Barbasol, yeah. So I'm gonna squirt a little bit of this in my lather. You can experiment and do what works for you. Uh, there's nothing. People mix and match soaps all the time, so um, I like the smell of Barasso or Barbasol. Sorry. Uh, my Parasso is right here. I'm not using that today. I've been using that. I want to just do a little something different. I have a few sandalwood scented things coming my way. So that would be good. So uh, my lather is applied. My razor is warm. Um, you never want to put a cold stainless steel or cold anything on your warm face. So dip the razor 
in the water and you are on my right side of this film so you can see what that's like. So, here we go. Something on my hands is slick as shit. Uh, my trick for slick hands is uh, rubbing your fingers on an alum pin or an alum bar, whatever you've got. Let me get this just a little bit better. And uh, this is a lot, takes a lot more time in front of the camera because I want to actually do it right. So you guys can see. But, um,. Normally, it doesn't take me this long, and I also don't get shit right next to my eye. But anyway, that's good. So, we'll go ahead and start. Uh, clear the area around your sideburns so you can see what you're doing. But I don't have sideburns, so it doesn't really matter. And just uh, put it on your face and take it down like that so you can find your angle and that's about mine so start shaving and you can hear it uh, taking all the whiskers off Once both sides are uh, coated, you rinse the uh, blade off so you're starting fresh again. And you don't want to do very long strokes. Um, the smaller the better. So, um, the reason for the multiple passes is because you are not shaving off all your hair at once, you are reducing your hair. And that may take two or three shaves. But a uh, hockey player, uh, I know just bought a set and financially it makes a ton of sense. See, I'm I nicked a little razor bump I had from a previous razor. Um, but this razor cost, I think I got it on Amazon and I think I paid like $33 or something like that. Um, and so it's about double what a Gillette Pro Glide costs initially. Um, once you've bought this razor, it'll last you a lifetime, and your kids and grandkids will use it. Um, I've got a razor on its way from uh, 1954. It's a Gillette Super Speed. And it's in perfect condition. And so uh, it's like a 62 year, whatever, 1954, so uh, 50, 58 year old, whatever. Yeah, 58 year old razor that I will be doing a video on shortly when it gets here. So they last forever. You're not paying $18 every year or two. Okay, first pass is done. Um, you're not paying $18 every year to, you're paying $35 once for your one razor. And I've already ordered one more, and I'm sure I'm going to order a couple other ones. So, I mean, it can be a collective thing. 
Let me do a quick rinse. Like, it, you can grow a collection of brazers, but really, if you're happy with the first one, that's the last razor you're going to need. Um, blades, I got these. It's 100 blades uh, for $10 on Amazon. And um, that's like over a year's worth of blades because you can get three, three or four. You can expect three or four shaves out of each blade. So that's, even if I shave every day, that's a year's worth of razors. For 10 bucks. So I'm not having to pay $17.99 a month for cartridges. Uh, soaps can get expensive depending on where you buy um, the art of shaving soaps and creams are like $25 on Amazon but if you have a store locally that you want to buy from you can expect to pay like uh, I know a shop around here sells the art of shaving stuff for like 45 bucks so I'm going to do all my shopping online and literally one of these will last a good couple months so it's very economical this time we are going to go from the ear to the nose um, against the grain across the grain um, that's the way I found I like to do Uh, you usually do three passes. Uh, one with the grain, one across the grain, and then I'm going to go ac across the grain in the opposite direction. Uh, some people go against the grain. Um, I'm not comfortable enough to do that yet with my grips. Doesn't scare me. I sh don't know the proper methods yet, so I'm learning. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. I have been practicing a lot. Um, this razor came with these Derby Superior stainless blades, a uh, five pack of them. I shaved with those. Uh, Thursday night. And I uh, was not happy with those at all. Um, I'll not be using them again, uh, at least in this razor. I hear different blades do different things with different razors. So I'm not going to give up on Derby blades yet, but uh, they really felt like they were going to uh, take my face off. As you can see, I've got a couple nicks, but I haven't noticed them. So, they're not too bad. The one thing I do not like about this barber saw is that it dries up on your face really quick. And this is traditional wet shaving. And so you don't really necessarily. Want a dry face. Uh, I'm not going to be editing this video. Uh, I might edit out some of the splashing, but um, I'm doing this in real time.
so that you can get an idea of how long it takes an absolute beginner to shave. So second pass is complete. I've now changed up my shaving cream one other time just to give it a little bit more uh, wetness and comfort. Um, but to those of you who are thinking about trying these kind of this style of shaving, um, don't give up on it um, because like I said you will find things that you don't like and you'll find things that you do like. So stick around and keep keep experimenting um, because what works for me might not work for you and vice versa. I am talking and so it is making this whole process go by a little bit slower than if I weren't talking. Trying to get a nice good coating, keep my skin protected. The, uh, the whole point of shaving cream is not just to moisturize your face and lubricate the blades, it is also to um, provide like a cushion. So the thicker, the better, but you also want it smooth. So. This is nuts, and is not ex at all what it should look like. But you play around and find techniques that work for you. Whatever we'll go with this. In the interest of time. Alright, so because I just did all that with my hands, my hands are sticky or uh, slick. So I'm taking this alum block. And just rubbing it on my hands and fingers and it takes the uh, takes the uh, slickness out so now I'm going to go across the grain from my nose to my ear maybe And then on the side. I just cut that little bump again. Uh, but You've seen that I've nicked myself a few times, and really, you know when it happens, but you don't feel it. Like, um, that one, I could feel, like I could hear that something had ripped. I've just got a little bump there. And, uh, knew instantly something had happened, but I didn't actually feel it.
And uh, if you've been watching, I like to section my face into quarters, basically. This flat part from like here to my jawline, same side over here, and then jawline down. That way I'm not going over any curves. Um, if you're proficient with this thing, go for it. But I'm not. And so is he. I've got three quarters of my face done, so this I'd love to do. Okay. Keep bleeding, so what I'm going to do go wipe the blood off. And uh, that alum pen that's been uh, unslicking my hands is going to make the bleeding stop. cream on my chin. And I'll show you in just a second that the bleeding has actually squagulated and stopped. Let's see, that alum pen like put a little coating over the uh, cut. And one thing that you do not want to do is repeat places. Um, and what I mean by that is you want to keep the blade moving. If the stuff does not have shaving cream on it, you don't want to keep on going over that spot because your skin will just like give out and succumb to the razor. Uh, and I'm just going for a smooth shave today. I'm going out tonight. And uh, so that's why I'm concentrating a little bit more on this area. And as you can see, I'm trying not to go over the same spot twice. Do a quick little rinse. Do a little cold water rinse. Apply some aftershave. Going to be using a Clubman Classic Vanilla. This is alcohol based and so it will sting if you're not careful. But I'm just doing a little splash. Um, I don't always recommend alcohol. It does dry out your skin. Uh, safety razor or not. The one thing I will pay Gillette for from now on is this um, intense cooling lotion. That is great after a uh, shave. And as you can see, there are a few very tiny nicks and bleeding in a few places, 
but those are all existing razor bumps from uh, this guy. So, anyway, you guys take care. I'm going to uh, clean up my mess, and I'll see you guys later.